Hi guys, got a weird one here for you today. <coughs> well, it's not a weird one, it's actually a, um, a bad one. Um, a colleague of mine, his sister, got a VW Fox. She packs it, uh, she lives over in France, so she packs it down in Dover. So the car's 2010 plate, but it's only done like 20,000 miles. She only drives it from uh, yeah, Wales over to Dover. It leaves it in the port for like three to four months at a time. Uh, this car have come in. Um, should take me to a place in Dover to have it checked out because the brake pedal is feeling really heavy. Um, so they've told a uh, little backstreet guys they've told her it's going to be a um, two calibers on the front of the season. So I thought well, that was a bit funny. So um, after a long discussion and everything, she got the car recovered back. Um, when they brought it back, the AA brought it back and they took it into an AA approved centre, which was uh, quite a large outfit. I'm not going to name any names because I don't like doing that. Um, and they turned around and said, yep, you need to servo. So uh, they wanted probably five, six hundred pounds for a servo. Uh, it's probably worth more for the car to be built, aren't you? So I said, listen, get the car to me, let's have a look. Um, I opened the bonnet and what, I was a bit horrified for what I found. Um, nice and simple one. First thing I checked, obviously, we were checking the servo. First thing I've got to check is the servo pipe. Um, as you can see, got a servo pipe here. This is the one off the car comes down and you come to the one way valve you can see that side's fine you turn it over you can see there's a split in there and it's sucking in air and that was causing a problem um, just putting this video out there just I can't believe that uh, the main dealers and uh, big outfits are trying to charge for a lot of work that's not needed for something just like a servo pipe like this which is, is pennies I mean, I think this part costs us something like £35 um, from the main dealer. Um, you can buy them probably second hand or you can buy aftermarket, but for £35 for something as uh, safety conscious as brakes, I believe that's what you should be doing. Alright, cheers guys, bye.